Are you running out of ideas when it comes to creating some awesome title motion graphics right here in After Effects? Don't worry, I got you covered. We're gonna talk about several trendy techniques right now inside of this After Effects tutorial. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna break down some really cool, unique concepts. You know that I love talking about unique motion graphics and small techniques to better improve our work. And this tutorial is gonna do just that. We're gonna talk about three trendy typography techniques that's gonna help you improve your work going forward. So let's jump in, let's get started. All right, and remember, if you wanna follow along, you can download our project files for absolutely free. The link will be in the description. So for our first title design, we're gonna create this cutout sort of typography look right here, which is really nice. Kinda of just comes out from the top up, which is great. And if you download this project file, you'll be able to follow along exactly right at this moment. We just have a very standard title animation here, but I want to talk about how we can quickly create this. So once you have a title in here, what you can do is you can take this layer and go to edit duplicate and we can bring it up. Okay. But what we want to do is here in the character window, we want to come here to the swap icon and we want to turn this into a stroke. So we'll click on that. Make sure to click on no fill color. And this will give you a stroke and you can adjust the stroke width right here and i have mine set at five all right so what we want to do is we want to grab the rectangle tool make sure nothing is selected and we should draw out this rectangle to go across like this and then i'll put the shape layer underneath our duplicated title layer and i'll toggle switch the modes until we see the track mat and i'll set this to alpha mat and we can add a keyframe for position move it forward in time and then just bring the y position position down so now boom that comes up like that Pretty simple, make those keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we have a simple pop-in animation like that. Then we can take this even further, we can grab our shape layer and our text layer, duplicate them, make sure that the top there, and we can delete those position keyframes that we just created and bring both these layers up. All right, we'll grab that shape layer and we'll bring the shape layer up to where we're gonna create this gap, just like that, and that's perfect. And then as before, we can animate the position with a keyframe forward and bring the title layer down. So as before, boom, boom, that comes on. All right, so I went ahead and created one more there. So now we have this very simple stack title that can come out of a original title animation like this. And what we can do is come here to our first shape layer here and we can change the color of this to whatever color we want. So this will allow us to do a quick little offset. That's cool. And then we can grab our text layer and go to effect stylize and we can grab glow. And we can duplicate the glow effect and then increase the glow radius by a touch. And then I'll just copy the first glow and I'll paste them to the other text layers. Keep it simple. So now we have a really cool, you know, stack animation that can be used in a really unique way. So I like that. It looks good. And before we move on, I want to give a shout out to our extension right here inside of After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension along with several of our other packs. But within this one pack, we have 500 templates for anything from titles, motion graphics, animated backgrounds, transitions, and even logo animations. And you can preview every animation before you apply it. So if you're looking for a title template, you found what you wanted, you click apply and it automatically applies it to your timeline and you can go into that composition and you can change out your title, make any changes that you need to make out and updates automatically. And if you're just like me, I don't want a standard title. I got to put something else to this. So I'm going to apply something called our accent motion graphic clusters, which you can apply a click of a button and it automatically adds some very nice accent motion graphics to help spruce up this composition. And obviously we can go into that comp and we come here to our control layer and we can change our color to whatever we need it to match. And obviously everything will update in our main composition. So if you're looking to save hours of your life through every project you're working on in the future, while also producing awesome work, you can check our links in the description and you take a look at every element that we have. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. This next title animation is gonna be a really cool idea. You're gonna be able to uh, take your title and put it around a path. In our case, we're gonna do a circular path. Really cool. So we'll come here to our tutorial composition. All I have here is the title typed out several times in one text layer. The smaller the word, the better this is gonna work. Especially if you're doing it in a circle. Let me be clear about that. All right, and we'll grab the ellipse tool here at the top and make sure your text layer is selected. And we'll hold down shift on our keyboard to draw out a perfect circle like this. And we'll grab our selection tool and we'll just put this in the center of our composition like so. Okay, we'll open up our text layer right here where it says text. Uh, go into path options and you set the path to mask one. All right, now we have this path here and that's cool. You can actually click on reverse path and I'll put it on the outside. And you also come here to force alignment and that will help put it around the entire path. And you can be like the first margin and last margin if you wanna create a little bit of a gap there. Now what's cool about it 
is I can come here and build out a circle. So I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and I will click on the word fill, make sure that's set to none. Click on the word stroke and we'll set this to solid color and click OK. And hold down shift, we'll draw out this perfect circle here. And we'll just go ahead and make sure this is centered in our composition. Uh, if we need to make it a little bit smaller, we can obviously do that. Awesome. We'll put this layer underneath our text layer and we'll grab our text layer and I'll change this layer to black so we can put this on top of everything correctly. So what we can do here is grab our text layer, go to edit, duplicate, we can hit asterisk keyboard for scale and we can scale this down and then change that color back to white so we can obviously see it, obviously see it on a black background. We could duplicate it again, scale it down. Uh, and then we can grab, say, our shape layer and the original title, duplicate those, bring them to the top, and we'll scale both of those down. And then we can just hit R on keyboard for rotation and grab all of our title layers. And we can add a keyframe for rotation. We can move forward in time. And we can just offset the rotation in opposite directions. Uh, just like this goes like positive, negative, and then everything will be animated. We have this really cool rotation going on here and you know it's really cool all right so for our third and final technique i want to keep this pretty simple but it's an awesome technique we're going to be able to create this uh title crawl with this neon glow and everything to it so that's nice so we'll come here we have our title layer in here and it's just a stroke title i don't have it as anything else and we'll open up our title layer and we come here to like animate and we can add an opacity we'll open up range selector one and we'll come here to the advanced tab and we'll check on randomize order to on and we'll set the opacity down to zero percent and simply we'll grab the range selector here and we'll bring it down you know to like maybe 75 to 80 percent here and all we're going to do is i'll click the stopwatch for random seed and type in time asterisk five so now this will be flickering on just like that and that's cool all right and we'll grab this title layer go to layer pre-compose and we can call it placeholder. So you can change out your title uh, in a non-destructive workflow. Now let's go back into that composition and go to a composition and click on composition settings. And where it says the height, let's bring this down. You know, leave like a little bit of a space there in the Y value you know, between the title. So maybe right there should be okay. Click okay. All right, we'll go back into that main composition and we'll go to effect stylize and we're gonna grab motion tile. Where it says output height, go ahead and increase that. And as you can see, you know, you're gonna have these repeated words in here. And if you wanna update anything, just go back in that previous composition, go back to composition settings and readjust the height. And then it'll automatically update in your main composition. And that's cool. So what we'll do here is we'll add a keyframe for tile center, go to the end of our composition, I'll say five seconds, and we can tile, you know, have this go up just like this. That's fine. So nice. All right, so now all we have to do is colorize this and make this look good. So we'll come here to effect, stylize, and we'll grab glow. And I'll set the radius down to like eight or so, maybe six. We'll duplicate it. And this one will, will increase the glow radius up to like 60 to 70. We'll duplicate it again. And we'll grab the glow radius and we'll set this up to like four to 500. All right, then let's go to effect, generate grab gradient ramp or you can also col uh, grab four color gradient grab gradient ramp we'll grab these anchor points that we just created put it on both sides here awesome and we can come here and change out our colors to whatever we want to do so i'll do like this purple and we can also grab like a magenta feel to it that's cool so now we have like this neon uh, glow here that's awesome and i'm going to take this placeholder and i'm going to duplicate it come here to the bottom layer and i'm going to delete all of the glow effects but I'm gonna keep the gradient ramp. And then I'm going to affect blur and sharpen and grab the CC radial fast blur effect. And I'm gonna put this between our gradient ramp and motion tile. And we'll set the zoom to brightest. And I'll bring this brightest down to like maybe 20. And that'll help create a nice little soft blur to what we're working on. Another quick tip we can apply here is go to both the motion tiles and check on mirror edges. This will kind of randomize well not randomize it but turn it upside down and invert it so it kind of helps out a little bit all right so the last technique i want to apply to this is being able to focus in on the center so what we'll do is we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll grab the rectangle tool and simply at the beginning here we'll just draw a straight rectangle across the center just like that and we'll set the mask to subtract go to effect color correction and we'll grab tint I'll set both of these to black 
and then where it says mount to tint we'll go ahead and bring this down to like i don't know 50 and make sure you hit f on your keyboard for mass feather and you feather this out nice so that'll darken down the other sides to that and that's cool and it'll keep the highlight in the middle now you have all these elements that you can apply for different types of work just a lot of cool ideas within this one title design so that concludes our tutorial on these three typography trendy techniques wherever you want to call them i think it was fun i hope you found it enjoyable and if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating